everybody and welcome to this other tag video that I'm not tagged in really but I'm gonna do it anyway because it sounded good so this is the tell me the truth tag originally by Shannon's bookish musings and music and I saw her do it bookish do it and I'm like I'll give this one a go this one's pretty easy do your friends, family, co-workers know about your booktube channel? If so, do they watch? My friends know about what I do here. Don't think most of them watch. My family knows about what I do here and try to stay as far away from it as possible. The funny thing is, like, and I've talked about this before, but like when I was doing paperback junkie stuff, my kid's friends, I think is a joke to my kid kept saying like it was cool that i had a channel and oh paperback junkies your dad oh my gosh and like all this other stuff just like drive my kid crazy but then some of them actually started like watching and commenting and digging on the stuff i was doing when my kid was doing their live streams on twitch like their friends would like pop up and go like oh uh oh your dad just uploaded a video called blankety blank blank and it was like Ugh. stuff like that so that's funny when watching booktube videos do you ever speed them up to save time oh my god i speed everything up to save time i ain't got time for that so here's the thing like i watch all booktube videos all youtube videos on two speed i have to i just there there is no way i can sit through anything and I think a lot of this has to do with how I listen to audiobooks. I listen to audiobooks at like three speed. And some of you are like, how can you even do that? And like, you don't start there. You always start at like 1.25. And then after that starts to feel normal, you go to 1.5. Then you go to 1.75. Then you go to two. And you have to keep moving things up um, incrementally. With an audiobook, it's easy because the audiobook's long as hell, so you can do that. With YouTube videos, they're usually not that long, so you don't have that ability to do it. But what I have noticed is that American booktubers or YouTubers, I could put it to speed and it's fine. If I'm listening to certain um, British booktubers, some of them I can't do that too because where they're from, they're their speech is so fast anyway that if I speed that up, I'm just not going to be able to do it. So somebody like that, I would go 1.5, but everybody else you're at two. And it's not because I don't like you. It's not because anything like that. I don't understand how people could watch my videos. When I watch my videos back, I will play them at two speed. And on top of everything else, when I think jokes land better at two speed, like I like the Marx brothers. You know, I like the Three Stooges. I like Laurel and Hardy, you know? Like, I think, like, and even, like, W.C. Fields, as slow as he talked, like, he was still fast, you know what I'm saying? So, like, comedy always hits better fast. It just does. And there's a lot of people on BookTube that probably don't think they're very funny, but it's because of the speed of your delivery. When I play you guys at two speed, you're funny. I'm just going to say, you know what I'm saying? So there's that. <laughs> Do you watch videos from all of the booktubers you subscribe to? All of their videos are just some. I do not do this at all. There used to be like a handful of channels that I would watch all of their videos all the time. And if I just came to them, I would put everyone else on the back burner and burn through all of their videos. I stopped doing that probably probably when I moved to the desert. It was a little harder to be comfortable watching YouTube all day. Like, I just couldn't do it. So there were a couple people who I watched a lot. And um, even then, like, I was slowing down. So basically, if I just find your channel and I like it, know within the next 12 hours, I'll probably have watched all of your videos very fast. The next question, do you watch slash, slash subscribe to everyone who subscribes to you or only channels you really wanna see? Do you watch and subscribe to everyone who subscribes to you? 
Um, I think a long time ago, I was subscribing to everyone who subbed to me. But I also don't really know who subscribes to me and who doesn't. Like, it's not like YouTube sends you a notification. Maybe they do. I just, I've never gotten one. But they're like, hey, Fire Breath 87 sub to you. Like, no, you know, I sub to them. Like, I don't know. Like, I used to do it when I noticed people subscribe to me. But um, I just don't know. And I've even gone through, and not to be shitty to anybody, but, like, I've gone through a couple times over the last year or so. And if I see a channel in my feed or a channel I'm subscribed to, especially if it comes up in my feed, if I see a, vi a channel that pops up, like a video that pops up, and I go, I've never watched a video from that channel before. Okay, I'm going to unsubscribe. But is this video here something that interests me? Like, should I watch this? And if the, what they're talking about in the video is not going to interest me, then I will start unsubscribing. And I've been trying to call my list down because um, there are a lot of, there's a lot of people who put up a lot of content regularly about stuff I don't care about. But like at one point they might have been covering something that I dug. But then like that's like just a little fraction of all this other stuff they do. And I think YouTube's algorithm is good enough to know, like, if that channel ever talks about that kind of video again, that they'll let me know about it. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I had to do this with, like, news YouTube things I watched. Like, I was getting, um, like, if you're familiar with the Young Turks, okay, like, I like Damage Report, but when I subscribe to them like all their other channels like were getting recommended to me so I'm like oh okay I'll subscribe to all of these then all of my feed was just all of these channels and I'm like this is too much like I am not going to personally watch all of this stuff so then I had to delete all that stuff and then like recently I was on this kick of watching um, bootleg black flag concerts from the 80s and so there were people who were posting that stuff. So I subscribed to all these people. But they also put out videos all the time of all these other bands that I don't like. So I'm like, oh, now I'm going to unsubscribe from all these people. You know? And so with books, like, if people do a lot of videos on, like, pulp stuff or, like, Robert E. Howard or Lovecraft, there were a bunch of Robert E. Howard people I was following. And then I realized that their channels are awful. And, like, the videos they make are bad. And it's not because what they're talking about is bad. But it's just, like, the takes they have on it are bad. And, like, the... I don't know. The... It's just bad. And so there were some channels where I'm like, oh, I have a different take on this. This could be an opportunity to have a conversation. So then I would, like, reach out and go, hey, I thought that this was blankety blank blank blank. And then I don't hear from them. And I'm like, okay, well... Like, if you don't want to have a conversation about your bad takes, then I'm not going to fuck your videos. You know, like, it's not rocket science. And then there's other people who do videos about the stuff I like, but they are so nauseating to watch and are so vapid and have zero personality and are completely phony and fake that, like, I can't watch them even if they are talking about something that I really dig but then I could watch somebody whose personality oh this is another question on here so I guess I'm talking about it now let me see what is it oh do you watch or subscribe to booktubers based more on content or personality um, I would I would say probably personality because one thing I like about booktube especially when I was really into it was most of the people on booktube do not read what i read so getting like book recommendations from friends who like are reading books that i know i'm not going to read is interesting but if i'm going to a channel who someone is reading something that i've already read 
and they're boring or and like I don't want to hear them talk or their takes are garbage and they won't have a conversation with me about it like I'm not going to watch that but what I will say <clears throat> is that when I go to someone based on their personality and they convince me to try a book whether it's through their video or through us talking and then I read that book and this book that they told me that I'm really going to like. And then I'm like, this was seriously garbage. This was like one of the worst books I've ever read. I can't trust that person anymore. Now, if they gave me the like recommendation personally, like to me through Voxer or through email or whatever, or through comments, if it's a bad recommendation, then um, you pretty much lost me as a viewer. I might still subscribe to you in case you do some like life video stuff, but I'm never going to take a book recommendation from you again. Because either you are too thick to understand what my likes are, or you just like everything. And I cannot stand people who just, oh, that was great. I loved that. Oh, that was great. Ah. It's like you have like no nothing, you know, you can't like every single fucking thing and it's okay to not like things. It's really okay. But if you're going to waste my time and my money for me to get some book that you think's great, that you swear I'll like, don't swear I'm going to like something and then have me not like it because now it's on you. You know what I'm saying? So basically that was a long, stupid answer, but, um, yeah, personality over books because somebody who has a great personality could talk to me about a book I'll never fucking read. And if I enjoy them, then I will listen to that because I know most of the people, especially when I was doing straight booktube content, 95% of the people that watch my channel were not reading the books I was reading. They just liked me they liked hearing me talk about the books they liked the passion of me talking about the books and the whole deal so um yeah that, that passion uh, it's, it's not even personality it's passion are you passionate personality is one thing but being passionate about something that draws people in okay like it just it just does so I don't know. So um, tag people. Hey, if you guys want to do this, because I know I'm not doing straight booktube stuff anymore. Like, so if you want to do this, do it. It's fun. If not, thanks for watching. And go give Shannon a hello. Okay? So keep buying my books. Type hard, everybody. And I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.